I was thinking the other day, and you know what I find interesting? Your mind tries to manipulate you into staying where you are, even if you know it is not where you want to be. Because the unknown is scarier than accepting the truth of being stuck, not fully being happy or living to your true potential. Growth happens when you are on the edge. Is it on the edge of your comfort zone? Is it on the edge of your brain capacity when you're reading? Or on the edge of your muscular power when you are in the gym? When you are able to do 12 reps in the gym, if you then keep doing 12 reps, well, you keep everything else the same, no growth will happen. It happens only when you push that boundary of what you're capable of, when you increase weight, when you push more reps, or when you go slower. I think the same holds for everything in your life. If you're in your comfort zone, it's so hard to grow. Try finding the edge of your comfort zone. Seek discomfort. Your mind will tell you to quit, but that doesn't mean that quitting is the right option. Now, in this video, I mainly want to focus on restoring that balance between productivity and pushing yourself and resting and giving yourself room to think and breathe. Because it's very easy to stay busy with your daily tasks and to do things, but you also need room to evaluate the way you are doing things, your work, and what you actually want to achieve. So I'll be showing what I do for that later in this video, but first, today's workout. I didn't want to get up this morning because my bed was so comfy but again I know I feel so much better when I do get a workout in so I kicked myself out of bed, did some skincare, bit of makeup and then I went to the gym. I'm on week five of my gaming journey, which is kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone. And today I did quads and calves from my next level guide, which is the program that I'm following to get results these 12 weeks, because my gaining journey is 12 weeks in total. I am focusing a lot on compound lifts. Uh, these are the lifts that involve multiple muscle groups and I try to move with intent. I love lowering the weight and focusing on form and tempo because you really want to make sure that you actually actually work the muscles that you intend to work. With the Bulgarian split squat that I did as the second exercise, ideally you want to have a more upright stance than what I showed in the video and with your feet closer together when you are targeting your quads, but I kind of felt my right knee being uncomfortable after my yoga class from last week, so I tweaked the stance slightly. I am so ready for breakfast. I had an intense leg day. I did quads and calves. I am actually sharing my full week of workouts on my Instagram. So if you want to see everything that I do in a week, then make sure to follow me there. It's at Games for Brains. I'll link it in the description box. But for breakfast, I'm going to make shakshuka. I've never had it for breakfast, so I'm very, very excited to see how I like it. I already know that I will like it, but still. I'm now quickly going home and enjoy my food.
Hello, hello. It is a few hours later. I ticked some things off my to-do list. I freshened up, which was much needed. The pants that I'm wearing are from Giraffe Avenue and those were actually kind of too big when I got them and now they are almost a perfect fit, which is really exciting because obviously like I'm on this game journey, but it is time for me to make lunch. It is a very quick lunch because I have a lot of things on my to-do list still, so I just need to um, keep it moving, but I'm going to make a cucumber salad and then I'm going to have some bread with chicken. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing with this recipe, but I'm just going to add a few things and then see what it tastes like. And hopefully we will, <laughs> we will get there. We'll see. So I'm going to add some low-fat mayonnaise, which is almost empty. I think it's empty. Okay, change of plans. I'm going to add some Philadelphia. A little bit of vinegar. And some pepper. And here is the cucumber salad. Not really what I planned to make, um, but it's fine. It looks nice. Okay, so first is the chicken and then I'm going to add the salad. And voila! Lunch is finished, I'm sitting on the couch, guilty pleasure. I'm going to eat it here for like 15 minutes and then scroll through social, which I know you shouldn't do, but it's I love it. And then I'm going to take some more things off of my to-do list. I have a call in an hour and I also want to go to the bookstore. So I have to see how I can combine those two. But the reason why I want to go to the bookstore is because we've actually added a few more people to our team. We're building our own app, our own fitness app. And it's a super, super exciting project, but it is very nerve wracking. A lot of things are happening all at once uh, and you obviously have to manage it. So I noticed that my stress levels are kind of growing. I lay in bed and then I'm like waking up with like things in my head that I need to write down, like ideas or things that I want to tell to different people. And I've just been noticing that my stress levels are higher. And we all know that stress is a catalyst for so many things and not all of them are positive. So it can help with muscle growth, but that's like, I think the only positive thing that I can remember on top of my head. But it's definitely important that I manage my stress levels because I want to be able to keep giving a lot of energy long-term and not get like super stressed or anything. So I think it's good for me to go to the bookstore and uh, pick up a book that I just read for fun. Because I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, I've been listening to audiobooks about business and whatever. So everything that I do, I try to make it productive, but I think it's really important to also make sure that you do things just for yourself to kind of slow your mind down. So I think instead of like, uh, either finishing work and then immediately go to bed or like still do a few things on my phone while I'm in bed It's better for me to put my phone away and then read a book that I actually enjoy for like 15 minutes or so before I'm going to bed because I think that will help with getting like a bit more peaceful sleep hopefully and then another thing that I wanted to do was make sure that I'm as as how do you say it as organized as possible so I've actually started a notion list. If you're interested in it, then I can share it in another video. Uh, let me know if you would love to see more about it. Like basically how I organize everything and make sure that I manage everything. Cause I feel like if I'm very, very organized and structured, I don't have to keep everything in my head, which really helps with like not waking up in the middle of the night and feeling like I have to write a million things down. So that would be really good. And then I also wanted to really take some time to do more yoga sessions. I actually did a yoga session a few days ago 
with Rihanna, which was really, really fun. It was like a yoga and a breathwork class, which was very intense, but really good for me. And I think that I might want to do another yoga class later today, like a beginner one, because it really helps with making sure that you actually release the stress that is building up in your body, like the tension and stuff. But also it's just a moment for myself to like calm the mind, calm the body and be really in the moment instead of always being with my mind with what I have to do like tomorrow and stuff. Yeah, I'll let you know if I go there, then you will definitely see I'll take you along with me. But first I am going to eat lunch and scroll on TikTok. <laughs> also taste test. The salad that I had in mind was even better, but it's good. After something savory, we need chocolate. I am now walking to the bookstore. I've actually never been to this bookstore before. I just drove past it and I was like, I'm stopping there. So let's see if they have something good, but probably. I love bookstores. Okay, so TikTok got me. I am getting these two. I think I've seen these two most often on TikTok, so let's see. Okay, so I am back from the bookstore. I was so quiet that they like closed me in accidentally, but the store was already closed and then they were like, oh shit, there's still someone. But I picked up the two books by Colleen Hoover. Very excited. This is definitely my book to read before I like go to bed. So I kind of wind down, even though I've seen people cry about these books. So, <laughs> and I, I am someone, when I read a story, like it's as if I'm living the story. So hopefully I won't cry myself to sleep, but we will see. And then I also picked up two other books because I couldn't help myself. So I picked up the seven habits of highly effective people. I read this one partly in Dutch, but I really want to read it in English because that really helps with broadening my vocabulary. And then I also picked up this one. This is Trust and Inspire. So yeah, very exciting. This is about leadership. And then I also picked up two donuts as a little snack because I walked past it. It's like a cheesecake one and then a strawberry one. Very exciting. And now I am going home. So this was a successful little trip. I am back from yoga. I couldn't film because that was a bit too awkward, but it was really interesting. It was half, like half of the class was yoga and then half of the class was breath work. Breath work amazes me. So during the class, I kind of felt like I was panicking or like drowning. It was like this technique where you load up on carbon dioxide basically, and then you kind of load up with oxygen. Um, and then I felt as light as a feather. It's, it's crazy how like the influence that your breath or breathing has on your mental, on your physical state. I definitely want to do more of it. It was really good. Um, but now I quickly want to make a little chicken soup, which is why I have this spoon in my hand. I'm going to make a very simple one, just basically with some chicken broth that is already pre-made because that saves a lot of time, um, but I'll share the recipe. And then I'm just going to enjoy my chicken soup and read.
I have my chicken stock which is heating up and then I have my veggies right here and I have my chicken which is boiling as you can see so I'm going to shred the chicken once it is done add it to that pot and then add the veggies as well Okay, so here is the dinner situation. I have my chicken soup, which is still way too warm to eat. And then I'm going to start with reading It Ends With Us, because I've seen this cover everywhere. And I'm very excited to see what is actually in the book. I am also going to end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, because I would love to see your face here more often. And then I will see you in the next one. But first taste test with my left hand, which is a challenge. <laughs> I don't know why, but this tastes like a fall birthday party with like my grandma. <laughs> I love it. Okay, cheers.